Hello everyone, it's Rose and I'm back with another uh, large diamond painting post completion review. So this one was number 174. I call it Dragon, Phoenix, Tiger, Snake. It is the four mystical creatures. Um, and uh, I got it from the Anita store on AliExpress. Now this one here, right from the moment that it arrived at my place, has been a bit of a problem. I'm going to stick in here a few pictures from the original video unboxing so that you can see what a mess it was um, when I got it. Uh, and I did iron it to try and get some of the wrinkles out. Um, but even that really didn't help. And let me just say, from the time I got this until the day I started it, it was sitting in a cardboard folder with a whole whack of other diamond paintings. Normally that's enough to flatten out a diamond painting uh, that comes with, you know, normal ship increases in it. This was not normal ship increases by any stretch of the imagination. So it came that way. And as you can, as you can see, I'm just going to angle this down a little bit here. Like these creases, that's after ironing because I had to be careful not to put too much uh, heat um, on the iron. I, I ironed it on, I think, silk setting. Um, that's my iron. Anyway, okay, so let me find my notes. All right, so here are my notes, and they're, for the first time, I had to cross off some stuff on my notes because I realized I made a mistake. Okay, so, oh, I just noticed I forgot to enter the finish date, but that's okay. Um, so I started this on June 7th, and uh, I finished it this morning at like 4.51 in the morning or something like that. I was, like, I was bound and determined to finish this thing tonight. Um, so in the first three days, I guess, I finished the first eight and a half inches. So down to here. And my comments on that were, and it's looking surprisingly good because I thought that this was gonna be way too pixelated uh, because there's a lot going on here. You know, you got your phoenix, you got the tiger, the snake, the dragon, and it's a busy, busy, busy picture. Um, so I was surprised at how good it looked. I thought it might be more pixelated because it's such a busy image. The drills are generally good, but I have been sealing each strip as I finish, uh, to stop them from coming off. So uh, like I always mark my canvases so that I know where to stop the Tombow because I don't want to have two, um, two layers of Tombow on any part of the diamond painting because I, I am afraid that will worry it, that that will, you know, make it look bad. So I did it in strips and, and it actually worked really well because otherwise the diamonds, they were, I wouldn't say there was a horrible popping problem, but they were not really secure because they were inconsistent in size. Okay. So this is, as I'm sure you can see, it's a round drill diamond painting. Um, but the drills are very inconsistent in size uh, within colors as well as across colors. So anyway, that was a bit of a frustration. And then on June 13th, which I think was Saturday, um, I thought I had run out of a color, but it turned out I hadn't because I had a whole other container um, of, of that color. So, so I was fine and the little rant I started I stopped and crossed out. June 16th. I'm starting the last strip of approximately four inches today. Uh, and that was here. I think it was actually like four and a half inches. Anyway. Um, and I'm very, very concerned. Hold on. I'm going to switch over to the next page. Uh, very, very concerned that I'm going to run out of a bunch of colors. And you'll see that when you see my leftovers. I'm also thinking that this should have been a 60 by 80 or a 60 by 90 
because it's just a little too pixelated. And while it looks pretty good through the camera, and actually I'm standing here looking at it, and it looks okay, like it looks pretty good. But if it was one size bigger, it would look amazing, okay? Uh, it really would look amazing. Um, for example, the tiger's eyes, uh, the dragon's face, um, those are not as clear as they might be. I mean, you can easily tell what those animals are, creatures, because I guess the dragon's not actually a real animal. But anyway, you can tell what the creatures are, but it could have been a little bit, I think, anyway, the detail would have been better in a bigger size, that's all. Um, that's not a complaint about the kit, that was my choice. So I do believe that they had this in a larger size, a 70 by 90, 60 by 80, something like that. And I chose to get it in this size because I wanted to test out the store with something that wasn't huge. I don't consider 70 by 50 to be huge. I consider that to be sort of a medium sized diamond painting. Anyway, um, and I have enough other complaints about this kit uh, from the shipping um, status, like the the, sh the condition it was in when I got it um, from the company. So there you go. Okay, and then later after I wrote that on June 16th, it was actually June 17th, like it was after midnight. But anyway, uh, I ran out of when I wrote this next little bit. Uh, it was actually after midnight when I wrote this last little bit. Um, I ran out of orange, one of the oranges, number 301. And I was only 15 short, and luckily, I had spares of that color. So I was able to fill that in. And uh, then, about an hour or so later, I ran out of 946. And so I finished the diamond painting with this here. And it was down in here that I ran out of the color and I can't remember now I was going to take a picture but I don't think I did take a picture of no I didn't I didn't take a picture of the canvas to show you what was missing um, but I just filled it in with number 970 because I didn't have any spare 946s and what I'm going to do is just show you um, on the DMC chart what the difference between those two colors are. So just a second. Okay, so um, here's the color I ran out of, this bright orange. And I didn't have any spares in my, um, didn't have any spares in my spares. Uh, and I didn't have any 947s. And I thought the 900, meh, just, I thought that was going a little too dark. And so I used the 940, I, I used the 970. It, it is a little bit lighter, but it was pretty darn close. And when I compared, because I kept, um, okay. So it was 946 that I ran out of. And this is what I used, the spare, like the leftover of the 970 is what I used. So, they're not exactly the same. Hold on, let's blow that up. They are not exactly the same, but they're very close. So I wasn't, I didn't feel too, too bad about that. But that said, um, it was super stressful doing the last bit here especially, and thinking, I don't know what other colors I'm gonna run out of. As it turned out, I only ran out of those two colors, but it was dicey. So uh, then this morning at four o'clock or five, or five, almost five o'clock in the morning, I finished it and it looks good, was my comment at the time, but the anxiety about running out of more colors really spoiled the pleasurable experience uh, for the last three or four days because I started feeling like I was going to be running out of a number of colors um, I'd say last Friday or Saturday so yeah it was it was kind of like mm, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough 
Um, and because there's a lot of oranges and things, those are not colors that I have a lot of in my spares. Anyway, I ran out of two colors, but there were a whole bunch of colors that had just a very few drills left, and I'll show you those. Uh, I won't be hanging this one because of the problems with the canvas, which I can't fix. Um, from both the shipping and then I actually thought that I had damaged it when I was ironing it. But I'm going to show you the back of the canvas here. I mean, this is after I spent significant time trying to iron out the creases. And this was the best that I could get. Um, those creases, man, oh man, they were, uh, they were serious creases. Okay. Um, it did turn out, in spite of all that, better than I would have expected. So, uh, my last comment on this that I wrote this morning before I went to bed was, uh, I will not be buying from the Anita store ever again. Uh, this was a bad experience. Okay, uh, so I still need to do a penny pick and I need to show you my spare drills and stuff. And I will be showing you my spare drills in some detail, more detail maybe than uh, some of the others. And I have to show you the trash, of course, as well. Um, but the reason I'm going to go into a little bit more detail with the leftovers is... Um, is that so many of them were so close to finished. Okay, so um, now I did keep the inventory sheet for this. And so there were 45 colors and they sent me exactly the right amount of all of the colors. Okay, so I wasn't, well, the right amount of bags. However, when I was kidding this up, I thought, mm, I don't know because a lot of the bags seem to be underfilled a lot of the bags so instead of there being like 20 percent more or even 10 percent more you know a bag that should have had 200 if it was filled to you know just 200 not 10 percent extra 20 percent extra 30 percent extra like some companies say i was looking at them and thinking i'm not even sure there's 160 in there okay so I'm going to bring you down so that I can show you this in some detail. All right. So, I mean, I'm not concerned about this. That's good. Uh, this here, it was getting close, but there's not that much of this color on the canvas. So I wasn't worried about that. Uh, there was, I'd say, uh, you know, more than enough of the D since I was able to use it. That's the 970. Uh, since I was able to use it to make up for the E, which I ran out of. Now, um, I always keep a couple of drills <coughs> just so that I can compare them to the ones that, uh, that I might replace them with. Because I don't do the replacements until the very end. Um, and then like here with this red, there was a fair amount of red. Uh, there are quite a few reds in this, um, and red, orange reds, uh, but like not a lot left over, but I wasn't overly concerned about those. Uh, getting into this one here, uh, which was 922, I was getting a little worried about that because there is quite a bit of that. But again, I thought if I run out, I might be able to, you know, use leftovers from another color. Lots and lots of leftovers there and there. Um, so that's uh, lots left over. This was, I didn't keep any of these. This was the one that I was 15 short of, 301. And the spares that I had actually had two different shades of 301s mixed in with them from two different kits. And one was more of the brownie orange that came with this kit. The other one was a, a bit of a more orange, orangey brown. So anyway, um, and then just a little bit of that left over, just a little bit of that left over. 
Um, so, you know, I mean, I wouldn't say it was horrible, but I, I was worried about a lot of these colors. So I'm sorry if I'm going too fast, but I know some people like me to get into way lots of detail. And some people say, just hurry it up, girl. So, oops. Anyway, I, like, I'm not, I mean, this is fine. This is fine, I guess, for most of these colors. Uh, I, I was close, I was getting close on the 3865. I mean, there's not a lot left over there. But 3865, that's such a common color in kits. But I wasn't worried. I think I have tons of spares of that. So like that didn't worry me at all. But here there was a lot of this on the canvas, uh, 815. And, you know, I was I was a little bit nervous about that. Uh, this one was fine. Uh, this there's a lot of this on the canvas, but I had two containers of this, uh, two full containers of this uh, when I started. So uh, there was lots. Um, and then we've got these sort of bluey purples that, uh, again, plenty of, and lots and lots of leftover, uh, 7.97 and 8.20. There were three chock full containers of this 9.39 when I started, and um, and there's still lots left over now. The 939s were not great quality. They There were a lot of drills that were too big, so I had to throw a lot of them away. Um, then we've got this 150 and the 154. I mean, you know, there was more than enough of those. And the 154s, if I had run out of them, like I wasn't worried about that because I have a lot of spares of that as well. And then 792, I'm pretty sure I have a lot of spares of that as well. Oops. And again, plenty of, uh, oops, plenty of leftovers. Now, this one here had lots of those not too many of these left over but again like I had so many oranges that I thought eh, I'll just I'll just use something else if I run out but I didn't and then not a lot of this 666 but again that's a color that I have uh, not a lot of these 793s I don't know if I've got that color but anyway I didn't need to worry about it because I didn't run out um, and then there we go and a little bit of that and this was the one I emptied one of the containers of this and then I didn't realize because I'd put it in the like I'd separated the two instead of having them side by side in the container here and um, and I thought I had run out of 648 and I was like oh my god so I actually started rooting through other diamond paintings that I hadn't started yet to find 648 um, because I knew I would need quite a bit of it and um, and I didn't have any in my spares and then I found this con this second container which was also full so anyway so there you go and then here's my trash and I'll show you that right now all right so probably didn't throw away as much trash as I should because when I was kidding up as I said I was very concerned at the fact that so many of the uh, baggies seemed to be underfilled like instead of having their 220 or whatever I wasn't even sure there was 200 so even though I had the right number of bags I wasn't sure I had the right number of drills so let's zoom way way in here and I would say that the absolute most common problem was the flash around the drills. Oh, and I've got a little hair there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Ignore the hair. Um, there was a lot of flash. And there were little broken bits of drills and things like that. There were no concave drills. Like, that was not a problem. I didn't have stuck-together drills. I didn't have anything like that. Uh, just... Mostly either drills that were too big 
or drills with flash, the melty feet. And, um, and so there you go. And I'd mentioned that the 939s were um, very inconsistent in size and quality. And they were, there aren't as many 939s in here as I would have thought because until I got to the very last strip of the diamond painting, there wasn't very much 939. Um, most of the 939 was used up in the second half of the diamond painting and in the last half of that second half, so in the final quarter of the diamond painting that I worked on. So um, by that point, it, I was, I was, anyway, doesn't matter. I didn't throw away as many of the 939s as I might have. As it turned out, like I rolled this very well and then with the ceiling as I went, it was fine. Okay, so there's the trash. And I'm just about done, except for the coin pick for my next project. Let me center this because I don't ever look at the, um, I don't look at my hands or the bowl while I'm doing the coin pick. So I'm going to make sure it's centered before I start. And as you all know by now, this will determine my next project because written on each one of these coins is an inventory number for one of my larger projects. So this is 240. So I think this will have been from my um, 1111 or Black Friday buys. Okay, let's see. I'll be right back to let you know what it is. Okay, so uh, there it is, 240 Snake Charmer. It's a 50 by 65 square drill from Cuff WP. And that is the image. So this is actually one that I'm eager to do. So even though I have a couple of others that I have. Okay, so I have two others currently on the go in my large projects. I have my family photo and I have the French peacock. The family photo is, I think, 40 by 50 or 40 by 60 or something like that. 60 by 40, something like that. Um, and the French peacock is 75 by 100. And then I have the Ice Princess from Dak, and I have the Bear Swimming, um, which was a custom that I had made, uh, which is 60 by 90, I think. And, um, and then this one. And I'm not sure which one I'm gonna work on next. I think I wanna finish another one of my projects, so I'll probably work on the French Peacock to finish that one. Uh, I have 50 by... Uh, let's see. I have it half done and it's 75 by 100. Yeah, I think I'll finish that one. Um, that's the one that has 89 colors. Uh, so it takes a long time because there's so much color change. Um, and then I might start this one because this one has always intrigued me. Uh, so anyway, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll be diamond painting something. Um, so there you go. That's pretty much it for this diamond painting, except, except, um, all I have to do is pour my trash into my trash bucket. And there we go. Let's zoom out a bit. I just spill. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Ta -da! Another pa diamond painting. So this one's just going to go in my folder because eh, I'm not going to... Uh, I'll never hang this. I'll just look at it from time to time. And when I do my retrospective on my diamond paintings for 2020, you guys will see it once again. Okay, everybody. So that 
is it for Dragon Phoenix Tiger Snake. Come back, join me again for my next diamond painting video. Thanks everybody, bye-bye for now.